Okay guys, so today I am over at what used to be my grandma and grandpa's house while I was growing up. And uh, it was handed down to my uncle when they passed away. And then it was, uh, it became my cousin's and now she just sold it. So this is the last day we have a chance to kind of walk through and look at everything. And uh, I kind of thought I'd bring you guys along with me and tell you just some stories in here a little bit, you know. Because, uh, I mean, I haven't been in here in probably 20 years. But we'll just start with the porch right here. Um, I mean, this is all, it's all exactly how I remember it. I remember we used to sit here, climb up and down these, and my grandparents used to sit right here on this porch and look across at this bank in this parking lot and watch me skateboarding over there when I was a teenager. Okay guys, I'm filming this at the end, but I'm actually going to plug this in at the beginning here because I forgot to film any of the exterior of the house. This was my grandma's house. This is where, I mean I didn't grow up here, but I was a little kid at this house pretty often up through being a teenager. And then really, I mean I've only been here probably once or twice since then. Um, I mean it's been a long, long time. I think I said at another part of this video that you'll probably see after you see this, that it's been about 20 years. It's been a long, long time. But let me just get a couple shots of the, uh, of the outside of the house here. But let me show you this first. Over here, Mayflower Shopping Center. And uh, one thing is that we used to come with my parents over here to my grandparents' house. And we'd have a couple dollars that we made, like mowing the lawn or something. We'd run over there where there used to be a Ben Franklin's. And, uh, and spend our money over there buying little uh, toys and candy and stuff at Ben Franklin's. This right next door used to actually be a uh, Dick's flower shop. We used to come out the back door there and we come up here and you know back when I was a kid it seemed so much taller of course but there was uh, plants over here like big flowers that stood up as tall as the railing there and we'd go back in there and we'd just like hide you know with our parents sitting up here talking on the porch. That's the door to the basement. And the back door here, of course, when I was little, it wasn't a porch like this. It was actually a little enclosed porch with some windows. And that part there is a, uh, a bathroom that we'll see in a minute, but that was not there. The little hill over here, we used to lay down at the top and we would wait because the lady who lived there didn't like us in her yard. So we would lay at the top of the hill there and we would just wait for her to come out because eventually she would. And as soon as she did, she'd come out yelling and we'd call her the Wum. And we'd yell, the Wum is coming! And we'd roll down the hill to get away. <laughs> Into the back here. I just remember being back here mowing this yard several times. And down this alleyway here, down that way, I got a friend that, oh look at that RV. I got a friend that lives down there. His name is Brett. Well, I mean, he lived down there when we were kids, when we were teenagers, and uh, we go down there and hang out. This is the back of the house here. And this is a, I mean, it's not a new garage now, but it's a different garage than when I was growing up. There was a totally different garage there. So, all right, now back to the tour of the inside of the house. Sorry, it's kind of loud out here. But uh, we got the porch swing down here. I remember sitting there and watching the rain. And my grandpa used to tell us that it was people dancing on the street because the rain would be coming down so hard it'd just be hitting the street and bouncing up. And uh, I remember one time we had a yard sale and this end of the porch, there was a guy out here and he, he was looking at like some kind of 3D postcards or something that my grandma had. And my brother and I, we just remember this distinctly. This guy saying, oh, they're three-dimensional. It just sounded so hilarious to us. So let's go on in the house here. And uh, even this door here. I mean, this door is the original door. Most of the stuff in here is original. You know, it's just been family living here. But, uh, but this is the kind of things. This is why I'm so attentive to detail when I go out and I do any exploring in places. 
even if it's places that don't mean a whole lot to me, I know that it means a lot to other people and they associate with little tiny things and little tiny details like this right here. The doorbell and this little doorknob. I remember that little doorknob from being a little kid, you know, going in and out of the porch, getting in trouble for going in and out so much. And this little L-shaped handle right here. I mean, that's all, stuff like that is all memories, you know. And uh, that's why I pay so much attention to detail when I uh, do these explorations. But in here, it's just amazing. It's amazing to be in here looking around at this place today. I'm just going to show you the living room here. another thing right here the little lock that's just I just remember that from childhood from being a little kid playing with that little lock right there now of course there used to be carpet in here it was the thin carpet you know that that was in all of these old houses but right back here my grandma had like her couch that was her favorite couch in the world sat right along that wall I remember at Christmas time we had like the tinsel the, uh, what do you call it? Like the aluminum shiny Christmas tree right over here in this area. And you had that light that rotated. Then over here under this window, there used to be a, a record player. I remember sitting there and listening to the Maslin Tiger Swing Band record. There was a piano right here that I used to play when I was little. Right here, this actually used to be a fireplace. My grandpa took it out and they had a huge marimba that used to sit there and we crawl under there and look at like the old uh, Sears catalogs I think they were. They did not have a TV. It, so that made it such a bummer to come over here <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> so that's the living room right there. Um, now over here where you see these guys messing with this big block that's actually a disguise for my grandma's safe. Now don't anybody get any ideas because there's people moving in here tonight. But look at this, it's disguised like a speaker. And on top of that, I remember as a kid, there used to be a record player and a phone, you know, an old rotary phone. And uh, it seems there, wasn't there a chair that sat right beside no. it? And then there was a, a giant uh, dining room table in here. This door back here goes to a bathroom that was actually put in so that my grandma could use this room as a, uh, a bedroom after a while. But over here in the corner, she used to have one of those big glass, uh, like curved front, what do you call that? Uh, curio cabinet maybe? Yeah, all kinds of little collectibles. What? The China cabinet. China cabinet, that's what she called it, yeah. And, and where the door is back there, um, there was a huge hutch. And I just remember getting in there and getting like, you know, little playing cards and just exploring in there. But we always got like chocolate and candy out of there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so through this door is the kitchen. Now, of course, all the decorations and the paintings and things like this, you know, that's all been put in ever since. But, uh, but I remember as a kid, these cabinet tops here, these countertops, they're red. I mean, these things are marked up from, from knives and just, man, a hundred years of use. I remember my grandma and grandpa, we'd all be in here crowded in the kitchen and they'd be over here using the homemade ice cream machine, making ice cream and, and hot fudge. 
And right over here along this wall was where there was a stove and a fridge. So my grandma would be standing over there with my aunt and they'd be making the hot fudge for the, uh, for the ice cream. And it's funny because a lot of this stuff here, remember I haven't been in here for like 20 years, but a lot of this I just immediately identified with. You see this like crackled wood? That's all along, like all the wood in here. And I immediately identified with that when I walked in and my chest was just like, <gasps> you know, you know, you get that feeling when you walk in places like this. These hooks right here, I mean, these have been here since I was a little kid. I remember like my grandpa had belts hung on there. We put our coats and everything. And my grandma had a dog named Snoopy at one point. And I remember he wasn't allowed to go into the living room. So he would lay like right there and he was really mean and he, he just wanted to bite us. <laughs> I remember the color in here was yellow and she had one of those old chrome tables with a yellow top and sat right along this wall here. Whoops, you okay? And the top of it was yellow, and then it had like those plastic yellow uh, chairs. <laughs> the kind that if you just like snapped it, it would split. In fact, at one point, my grandpa, he had this green chair. And it used to sit right here between these doors. And it was like that green plastic, that, I don't know, fake leather or whatever it was. And my mom was so mad at us one time and she used to, uh, she used to beat us to death. <laughs> she used to, she used to always pretend she was going to hit us with the matchbox track, the, uh, you know, the Hot Wheels cars. So she had an orange piece of that track one time and she come in here yelling at us and she swung that thing and hit it on the arm of that plastic chair and it split the plastic on the chair. She felt so bad about it. And I guarantee when I remind her, she's going to feel bad again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you downstairs here for a minute. Now, in the kitchen, here's the stairs that go downstairs. Now, when I was little, we used to sit in the living room there and play with Legos. And we would build, like, guns, you know, hand guns and long ones, as, as long as we could make them before the Legos would fall apart. And then we would go down here to what we called the body room. We would go down here, like, chasing each other around with these things. And we go down to the body room hunting bodies. So I'm going to take you down here and show you this. One thing about this house, the builders have made use of every crack and crevice they possibly could in this house. Sorry about that ray there. And uh, so you're going to see different holes around here and stuff. And uh, it's, it's, it's just cool. I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so coming down here to the landing, we got this little pantry and there was always like, uh, you know, food and uh, boxes of cereal and stuff in here. Hold on, let me see if I can get a light on. Okay, that's a little bit better. But this is the little pantry. There was always food and boxes of cereal and cans and whatnot. And look at this. <laughs> it goes back and up. I don't know what's up there, but, uh, that's what I'm talking about, how they take, uh, they take advantage of every square inch of this place. And let's go on down, uh, down these steps. And you can tell how old these steps are and the walls and the brick. Let's just go. See, look at this old basement. Here's one kind of brick over here. And again, this is why I pay such attention to detail when I'm filming places, even if they're not important to me. Because this is all things that people will remember from their childhood or, you know, from whatever. They, they just relate to these places. One kind of brick right here. Then you got down to these big ones here. I don't know if this was opened up at one point. It may have been a a walkway up to the outside at one point, but when I was a little kid, it seems there was a refrigerator there. Here's a, a little hole here. 
you can see they've obviously gone in there and sprayed to uh, insulate, but that's underneath that bathroom upstairs. Um, this is funny. This is actually a couple jars of stuff that belonged to my grandma. Now she passed away years and years ago, but these were hers. Look at this. Druna Digestive Compound. <laughs> and this one is Old English Bath Salts. I remember this from when being a little kid. This paper here, I was looking for a date. It's from 1987. And, uh, and it just lines these shelves here. You know, my grandpa and grandma, they had all kinds of stuff up here. You know, I vaguely remember this too, which is so cool but I'm not a hoarder, so. Now coming back in here, there used to be an enormous like boiler tank right there. Um, this is a shower. My grandpa used to shower down here because there's not a shower upstairs, it's only a bathtub. And he was an auto mechanic, so he would always be covered with grease and everything. Coming back through here was my grandpa's little workshop and this is all, you know, my grandpa died in like 93, I think. I think it was January of 93. And this is, I think that's his original chair right there. Because I remember a stool and I just can't imagine somebody else would have gone out and got another one. I, I can almost guarantee this is his. I should keep it, but I just don't have place for this stuff. But I just remember as a kid, all this pegboard and he had all kinds of tools and stuff like look at this old stuff that's an old Kmart tag right there okay sorry guys I'm having some trouble getting this thing to focus but you know there's just all this stuff that I remember from from being a kid running around down here in the basement and let me show you what we call the body room it's right behind that wall right there right behind that door we would make our guns out of Legos and come down here to hunt the bodies, <laughs> whatever that means. But uh, yeah, check this out. All right, where's our light? Okay, there we go. This is what we called the body room. It goes way back in there. And this is actually just underneath that front porch I showed you where we started. But you know, it's just, it's dirty under here, it's wet. This old magazine right down there. I don't know what it is, but I'm not stepping on this stuff because it's just old and wet. But that's the body room. We were always so scared to death of the body room. So, uh, and I was equally as scared of this nasty shower. 